that lives in Apache County, uh, knows best what the issues are associated with this, the social and economic impacts uh, to this, this uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, mandate to uh, recover the Mexican gray wolf. Uh, through that process, uh, Apache County and our Natural Resources uh, Coordinator can certainly speak to this in, in greater detail, but I'll try to do an overview. Uh, through the process, our Natural Resource Coordinator has worked with uh, uh, impacted ranchers, uh, and the communities that have been dealing with this issue very specifically, and has addressed some specifics to this, this issue uh, that, that help Apache County uh, move towards uh, potential um, a closer, a better recovery of the impact, negative impacts of this process. Uh, and we have been doing our best to uh, cooperate with uh, the eco uh, uh, group uh, and the what they call the stakeholders group, uh, which I would point out has not included the New Mexico groups uh, in the process, which are also very impacted, such as Catherine County. Uh, and we, we, we are open to uh, adopting a coordinated effort with them to, uh, because both plans have some benefits, but the plan by Apache County has some very specific issues that address a reduction in the impact that is going on that has been putting our ranchers out of business and driving costs up for our ranchers here. We actually, I've seen some ranchers in the building that, that may even want to speak to this issue uh, who have been familiar with both both of the alternatives. So I would ask, if you don't mind, Mr. Chairman, that our natural resource uh, person maybe speak to this issue briefly as to why we maybe would consider a combination of these two uh, rather than just going with the Eastern Arizona counties, which does not take into account the, the impact associated with Apache County. Okay. Well, this, you know, I'd like to hear what the uh, community, you know, I'd like to know what their thoughts are on it. So if there's anyone that wants to speak to this issue, you know, you can let me know or come to the mic. Mr. Brown, are you wanting to speak to this issue? Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Mr. Ray Shardy, Mr. Good morning. Good to be here. Uh, I, I support the eco position. I've been a member of eco for a long time, as you all have been. Uh, but it's for these reasons. One is, uh, I'm not a wolf expert, but I've been fighting on behalf of farmers and ranchers my entire career, especially the last 25 years. It's what I do for a living. I represent the Arizona Cattle Growers Association, which is a signatory to the eco plan. Uh, we were, our organization represents the vast majority of the ranchers in Apache County. Our ranch is right in the heart of wolf country. Our calves were torn apart this last year. I get it. Every calf is worth a thousand bucks at the end of the year. Uh, it's, a, it's a personal thing for our ranch. But uh, when I go out to the trail to get, a, to get one of the horses and I want to ride all day, I don't pick the crippled one. I pick the ones that are going to go all the way. The, the eco plant is the only one that has a chance. The Apache County plant simply does not have a chance. It's dependent on two things, and Mr. Young can, can, can advise you on this. But it's depending on a change of policy of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, which is simply not in the cards, and it's, it's dependent, more importantly, on a change in the statute by Congress. We've been hammering away at Congress to change the, a lot of the environmental statutes for years and years. And the team that's been assembled by the Categories Association and ECO are people that I've worked with for the last 20 years, and they're very bright, they're very conservative, they don't like federal intervention any more than, than any of us, but they are the only ones that I can see that have come up with an alternative that will work. You have to have something that will work. So I support the eco plan. I hope that's what you consider. And uh, unless you have any questions, I'll be very brief. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any others? <coughs> Sir, do you want to speak? Come up to my place. Miss Kriegler. Oh. I'm sorry. Your name, please, for the record. My name's Wayne Krigler, and thank you for the opportunity to um, say a few words here regarding 
this year's issue. Um, I happen to be a neighbor to the Browns, and I too am right in the throngs of, of the of the work issue, and have suffered a lot of expenses, both from direct depredation as well as conflict avoidance management strategies to try to keep from having wolf kills. Uh, I was in attendance at the meeting in uh, Phoenix when there was a discussion and a call for um, opinions, I guess, as to what we thought we could survive with and uh, the maximum number of wolves given by those in attendance and even from the Arizona cattle growers was somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 wolves. Based on the science that was given there, which was three wolves per 1,000 elk, um, I'm in question about how we came up with the science that was the basis for the other alternatives uh, and that is based on the information that was given there at the at the uh, the hearing that we went to at the Ben Avery Center. So I certainly support collaboration and consensus building. I think that's the only opportunity that we have. But I I don't support compromise to the point that we're all going to be put out of business by the presence of the wolf. So I, I thank you for the opportunity to be here and certainly support for Sewell of, of uh, collaboration, but not to the point that uh, we strangle all of ourselves to be collaborative. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kriegler. Uh, you, have you had the opportunity to look at both alternatives? Yes, I, I have, and I think we've heard a lot of them that day we were at the meeting. Would you suggest we look at, uh, stay with the eco for some of the reasons that Mr. Brown has suggested, uh, which I've heard other opinions about on, on those particular issues he raised. Uh, I'm not an attorney, so I won't try to challenge him at this point on some of those issues, but from a perspective of the ranching community that is impacted, uh, do you uh, think that it's better that we collaborate with eco on, a, on, a, on an issue that uh, may not address the specific concerns of Apache County uh, to, for the sake of collaboration, or would you personally rather see us uh, stand up for Apache County's issues? Well, certainly that's a, a very difficult question to answer, but um, I, I personally don't think either alternative has a fighting chance because I think the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is going to give us what they want, no matter what alternatives we come up with. And then I think that's what we're really faced with dealing with. By the same token, um, I, I do think that, that there is, um, that being said, I, I do think that there is power in numbers what I guess I would like to see is, is the entire collaborative group come up with a, a more reasonable management or a more acceptable management plan that, and since Apache County is really right in the core, that does the, give due consideration to the impacts that we have and that we will have here if we approach this unlimited population that uh, is that term that's being thrown around at, at the present time. So I, I, I danced around your question a little bit. You're right. But <laughs> um, I, I understand both issues, and, 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 and I'm, I just can't, can't say, Mr. Weller. That's fine. It's, it's, a very, it's a very, very touchy situation. And, and being right in the midst of it, I, I understand what Mr. Brown's saying. I've gone to bat on the coexistence council for the Browns uh, in payment and, and so on. And I guess the bottom line is I really don't support any of it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mr. Chairman, comment. 
they're coming to the store. Yeah, to that issue, I don't know if anybody else wanted to speak to some of the issues that came forth or not. I, I invite them to do that. 